Hello and welcome to this video. In the movie Queen's Gambit, they have a scene where they say, I think they're in the basement or something, they say that this pawn d4 is the Queen's Gambit. I might be wrong on this, I'm not sure. I just heard someone say that there was a scene in the Queen's Gambit movie where they said that this was called the Queen's Gambit. This is not the Queen's Gambit whatsoever. Whatsoever. This is not the Queen's Gambit. If you play d4, and your opponent follows up with d5, and then you follow up with c4, now you have the queen's gambit. To some of you this might, might sound very obvious, but I mean, to me, if you're making a movie called Queen's Gambit, if you're making a movie that is called Queen's Gambit, you better know what the Queen's Gambit is. So, yeah, I'm a bit confused of the producers to this movie. Because, like, if you don't know what the Queen's Gambit is, and you make a movie called Queen's Gambit, that's, that's not a good thing. That's very bad, honestly. I don't know if this is true, but... As I said, I heard someone say it, so I just wanted to make a video about it. The reason this is called Queen's Gambit is very logical. There's nothing weird about this name. Queen's Gambit means you're gambiting a pawn on the queen's side. This is the queen's side of the board, and this is the king's side of the board. This is gambiting a pawn because you give away the pawn. Gambiting means giving away for some compensation or for some counterplay. In the Queen's Gambit, you might play a move right now like this. And this attacks the pawn. And you're probably gonna get the pawn back. So you're actually not gambiting something that you won't get back practically in the game, because you most likely will get back the pawn if you don't get back the pawn if the opponent try to hang on to it like this move then you get a lot of compensation i would say because now you can play this and now if they decide they take this we can take here and take pick up the other pawn and being up a pawn if they try something else like this move for instance we can just take this because if you take back you can't take back because this pawn is pinned by my rook now if you take, you lose your rook. You might try something like, okay, but, but I play this move. Okay, but then I take, and after you take, I play this move, attacking your pawn. Again. And again, this doesn't work to defend it again, because I just take it. It's pinned, as I said before. If you take it, you lose your rook. You might actually be able to play like this anyway, but it's not so nice to be down in exchange, so... At least you get a lot of compensation for the pawn. So Queen's Gambit is a very good gambit. And it's a very serious gambit. And it's, it's a real gambit. It's not a dubious gambit as many other gambits out there. One reason the Queen's Gambit is so good or so popular or why it's played by the Grand Grandmasters is because you're attacking the center using your non-center pawns. You want to control the center in chess. It's very, very important that you control the center and develop your pieces. That's the two most basic things you should know about chess. And by playing this gambit, if they take and you play e4, look at white center. Center is these uh, four squares here. Uh, this is also, in a way, it's a big chunk of the center at least. It's all taken up by white, because these pawns control these squares. 
So black is kind of giving up his central pawn, which is a very good pawn. A center pawn is a very, very good pawn. He kind of gives away this center pawn for this kind of side pawn. This is not really a center pawn, this is more of a center pawn. So by playing e4 here later, we get a big, big center here, which a lot of times is very good for white. Now black can counterattack the center by playing moves like this and, and whatnot. So, yeah, I mean, chess is a complicated game. You don't just have something and then you have it forever. But it's still important to note that the center is really really important in chess and the queen's gambit is good because it attacks the center from the sides making it so that white gets an early center and black doesn't if they decide to accept the gambit and that is one reason why some people play queen's gambit decline because they don't want to give away the center or they want to play another line they don't want to go into this line where where white has the center immediately so yeah so, the purpose of this video was to explain what the queen's gambit is. Now, there's two types of queen's gambit. Queen's gambit accepted, where you accept the gambit, accept what is given to you, what is gambited. And this pawn is the one being gambited right now, so this is the queen's gambit accepted, because you accept the gambit. Now, this is the queen's gambit declined, because now you, you don't accept the gambit, and that's basically it, so, um, yeah. And uh, here you can play a bunch of moves, a lot of grandmasters play the queen's gambit declined, it's a very popular opening, it's a very good opening, in a way, in, in a certain sense, and it's... Queen's Gambit is like the uh, the heart of chess or something like that, you can call it, because it, it has a lot of things um, to it. Like you, you have a mid nice middle game, you have a nice opening, and you get often a nice long end game, and you get all the nice part of chess, that's usually what they say. But I continue with showing this line, and you can play something like this, for instance. Uh, yeah, it's a white to move right now, so maybe something like this to get developed. Um, so, play for the center, obviously, because that's what chess is about. Always play for the center. And, uh, yeah. The reason this is so stupid, in my opinion, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, let anyone down or be rude to anyone. It feels kind of stupid, but I might not have all the information yet. I don't want to call out anyone on being stupid. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that honestly. So I just think it's kind of strange how you would think this is the queen's gambit just because you move the pawn in front of the queen. That means you you probably don't know what the gambit is at all. Because gambit means giving up something, giving up a pawn, giving up a bishop, something like that, that gives you some counterplay. Now, black still has to play this move in order for uh, the queen's gambit to occur. They can play other moves, but this is the most straightforward one uh, to play in order to get the queen's gambit. But black doesn't have to play that, black can play whatever he wants. So maybe he plays this, and if you play c4 now, this is not the queen's gambit, because you're not gambiting a pawn. It's very simple, you're not giving away a pawn. This pawn isn't attacked, it's undefended, but it's not attacked. So black can't take it, so that's why it's not called a gambit in this line. So an example could be it's black turn, this, 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 and this is the... Not the Queen's Gambit, this is the King's Indian Defense, the main line. Unless I uh, had, unless there is another move order that is main line, but this is this is a normal variation, so to speak. And so just because you play d4, c4 as white, just because you play those two moves, doesn't mean it's 
a Queen's Gambit. It depends on what your opponent is doing too. So that's why it's just very strange to say that just playing one move like this and say it's a Queen's Gambit immediately. Because you can't always play what you want. If, if I want to play a Queen's Gambit as white, I, I can't do that without knowing what my opponent is doing. Like, they, they can decide, no, I don't want to play Queen's Gambit, I want to play this rubbish. If you can call it that. I mean, yeah, this is... This might be uh, uh, worthy of being called uh, rubbish. This isn't the Queen's Gambit. You're not gambiting a pawn, and that, it's very simple, honestly. So, uh, yeah, in my opinion it's simple at least, but... Okay. Uh, that's all I wanted to say about in this video. I just wanted to get that thing off my chest because in my opinion, it's as I said before kind of weird to make a movie called Queen's Gambit without knowing what the Queen's Gambit is So that would be a question mark to the producers of the movie, I guess But at the same time, I think it's a good thing that people are getting into chess and maybe this Maybe this movie is getting more people into chess, but then you should know that these three moves are the Queen's Gambit. Now, we, we can still get the Queen's Gambit, even if the opponent doesn't do that. Like, say uh, the opponent goes here. We go here. It's not Queen's Gambit yet, but it can transpose to the declined version of the Queen's Gambit, like, for instance, like this. Now this is the same position as we got in another move order. So this is the Queen's Gambit declined, so that might be a little bit confusing, but it's the exact same position as this one, after we get the Knights out. So th this is still the Queen's Gambit declined, even though the move order in the other variation was kind of different. But it's because this pawn right now is, is hanging, so that's why we call it a Queen's Gambit. Because we, we hang a pawn, we hang in quotation marks something in order to either get it back soon or get some nice counterplay for it. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you learned something. If you're new to chess, like... You shouldn't feel bad for not knowing what the Queen's Gambit is, obvious, is obviously not. But this video is actually intended for people that just saw the movie Queen's Gambit on Netflix, the miniseries, and thought to themselves, hmm, what is the Queen's Gambit? What kind of opening is the Queen's Gambit? And I tried to explain it in this video. And maybe a lot of people thought they know what the Queen's Gambit was after watching the Queen's Gambit movie. Maybe, I don't know. But I hope this video made it a bit clearer that as soon as we arise to this position, we get a Queen's Gambit. Or as soon as this position is on the board. <coughs> so... With, with some other variations of it, like uh, with some other moves on it, there's still a Queen's Gambit and it will be a Queen's Gambit the whole game after this because we played just like this. We gambited a pawn. No matter if Black decides to take or not, it's still a Queen's Gambit. Now, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching and bye!